Let us solve an example related to the instruction set architecture. So this is a question which came in the ISRO competitive examination. So we have a byte addressable computer which has a memory capacity of 2 to the power of m kilobytes. So if the memory is 2 to the power of m kilobytes, we can say it is 2 to the power of m into 2 to the power of 10 bytes. That means 2 to the power of m plus 10 bytes. And we know that it is a byte addressable computer. That means each byte is going to have an address. So how many bits will be required if we want to address 2 to the power of m plus 10 bytes? So we will require log of this much. So that means m plus 10 bits would be required to address any particular byte in the memory. Now this computer it can perform 2 to the power of n operations. So if the operations that are to be performed are 2 to the power of n, that means the number of bits that will be required to specify an opcode. So we know that opcode is the operation code. So the number of bits required to specify an opcode would be n bits. Using these n bits, you can specify a maximum of 2 to the power of n operations. Now an instruction is having three operands and one operator. So how many bits will be required for that instruction? So there is an op operator means the operation code. So that is the opcode. So we know that the opcode requires n bits and then there are three operands. So the kind of operand is not specified over here whether it is a register operand or whether it is an immediate operand. So we will assume over here that each operand over here is a memory address. So this is also a memory address, this operand is also a memory address and this operand is also a memory address. And for each memory address we know that we require these many bits. So what will be the total number of bits required for this instruction? It would be n plus m, m plus 10 plus m plus 10 plus m plus 10. So that would give us 3m plus 30. So these would be the total number of bits required for the instruction. Let's solve another example. A processor has 64 registers. So we know that if there are 64 registers, to address these 64 register to any one register if we want to address, we would require log 64 to the base 2 bits. That means 6 bits would be required to address any register in this instruction set architecture. And this processor is using a 16 bit instruction format. That means each instruction is of 16 bits. It has two types of instructions, I type and the R type. Each I type instruction, so this is the I type instruction, it contains an opcode, a register name and a 4 bit immediate value. So we know that the immediate value is requiring 4 bits. We also know that the register is needing 6 bits for the address. So if each instruction is of 16 bits, how many bits are left for the opcode? So 6 plus 4 is 10. That means 6 bits are left for the opcode. And these are, there are 8 distinct I type of opcodes. That means there are 8 instructions of this type. And we know that using these 6 bits, we can specify at least 2 to the power of 6, which is at the most 64 instructions. So 8 instructions is possible using these 6 bits of opcode. And for the R type of instruction, there is an opcode and two register names. So one register and the second register, each of 6 bits. So how many bits are left for the opcodes? 16 minus the bits for register 1 minus the bits for register 2. So 4 bits are left for the opcode and using these 4 bits, we have to specify some type R of instructions. 
So they are asking what is the maximum number of R type opcodes that we can have. So let us assume that we can have a maximum of n type R instructions. So for type I instructions, what are the different possible combinations that we can have for these eight instructions? So if these eight instructions which are specified by the opcode, there can be 2 to the power of 6 combinations for register 1 and 2 to the power of 4 combinations possible with the immediate bits that are available. So the total number of combinations for the type I instructions are 8 which is the number of instruction and each instruction can have these many combinations of the bits. For the type R there are n instructions and each instruction can have a combination of 2 to the power of 6 into 2 to the power of 6 bits. This will give 2 to the power of 6 combinations and this will also give 2 to the power of 6 combinations. Now the total number of bits that are there in the instruction is 16. That means using these 16 bits a maximum of 2 to the power of 16 combinations are possible. So whatever com possible combinations we are having for type I and type R they cannot exceed 2 to the power of 16. So 8 into 2 to the power of 6 into 2 to the power of 4 which is this plus n into 2 to the power of 6 into 2 to the power of 6 has to be less than or equal to 2 to the power of 16. When we will solve this we will get that n is equal to 14. So this is the maximum number of distinct R type opcodes that are possible.